Hello guys and welcome back to my world. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about this man right over here, Evan Carmichael. And maybe you are wondering right now, who is Evan Carmichael? Evan Carmichael is the person that introduced me to the content and the ideas of a lot of the people on my wall. When he was little, his parents always told him that he is a Carmichael and he can do anything that he puts his mind to do, which is a powerful thing for a parent to do because it uh, helps uh, the kid to have confidence and to have self-esteem from an early age. At the age of 19, he started the biotech company and later he sold it. Now he is a two-world uh, record holder uh, and he ho owns the largest uh, salsa studio in Canada. He is starting to be one of the most influential people in, on social media because he puts a ton of content on all of the platform from social media, like from YouTube to Instagram. He, and he collaborated with uh, a lot of people from my wall, like uh, Gary Vandercheck, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Dan Pena, Dan Locke, uh, Grant Cardone and many many more other people. With the goal of helping uh, 1 million entrepreneurs, he had published uh, two books, he is making uh, country tours and uh, he is giving a lot of speeches where um, he is helping uh, giving advice to people about uh, business and life in general. Actually, the inspiration for this uh, series is from him because in his videos he talks a lot uh, about the people on my wall and not only these people, a lot more people. The thing that I like uh, the most about Evan is the fact that you can see that he genuine, genuine wants to help other people. Uh, you can see that uh, he really cares about the people and uh, he really wants to help uh, others. And you can see this in every story or every video or every live that he makes. Now I'm going to start talking about 10 things that I learned from Evan. If that sounds interesting, let's hop on into it. Number one, belief. Belief, the meaning of the word, it's uh, at the center of Evan's life. He even has a book called Your One Word, in which he talks about the fact that everyone should find their one word that summons uh, everything that they are doing and summons why they are doing those things. More about that book, I'm going to talk in a future video because I'm going to read it and I'm going to make a summary of it. Believe it's a powerful word not only for Evan but for everybody because believe it uh, in a way it's at the source of everything. Everything that it's made man made uh, was created by somebody that first believed that can that thing can be created. And I'm not talking here only about uh, material things. Um, every great singer, actor, philosopher, scientist, uh, athlete uh, that achieved greatness, first they believed that they can do it. In everything that you are doing, believe is the first step that you need to do. Uh, because you cannot achieve anything without you believing that you can achieve it. I uh, believe it's the glue that uh, sometimes it's keeping us together when the things they don't go as you want. Uh, in a way, believe is the thing that keeps us alive uh, when the things uh, go wrong. So, believe. Number two, start small. In his videos, Evan talks about the fact that a lot of people, when they are getting an idea, they uh, think too far ahead and they get, uh, get overwhelmed by the things that they need to do in order uh, for them to uh, start their business. And uh, he encourages us to, uh, to start uh, with small step as soon as possible in order for us to get uh, that momentum going. You don't need a lot of money to start a business or you don't need a lot of resources to start a business. You just start small, you take the first step and after that with time you can invest more money into that business or you can grow that business organically. 
take me for example with the youtube channel i just made up my mind that i want to start a youtube channel i took my uh, my phone and i started i don't have uh, any camera or uh, any lightning or any tripod or something like that i just took my phone and i started uh, you can see the video quality is not amazing, but that can improve in time that uh, I can invest in uh, in this and I can buy cameras and other things uh, to improve uh, the quality. Uh, but first, I want to see if this uh, is something that I like doing, if this uh, uh, is something that uh, I enjoy doing, in, in, if I can do it. Number three, stop listening to others. This is a thing that a lot of people from my wall are saying uh, because uh, listening to others keeps us down, keeps us not reaching our full potential. If you want more from life, uh, most likely you are surrounded by people that don't share your dreams. Uh, most likely you are surrounded by people that are unhappy, that uh, don't chase their dreams. When you are a person that is chasing their dreams, that wants more from life and you are surrounded by people that are negative, those people are going to try to bring you down just for them to be able to feel better about themselves. And it's hard sometimes, especially when those people, those negative people are your family or are uh, your closest friends because you love them, you care about them, but at the same time, uh, this is your life and you should live your life the way you want to live your life and the way that makes you happy. Number four, surround yourself with greatness. This is a very important lesson that I learned from Evan because that's the reason why I have this wall right over here because I want to surround myself with great people, with uh, people that achieve more. Why would I do that? It's simple because um, I sometimes get inspiration from this world. A lot of the people uh, from this world came from nothing, came from uh, poor families or in, uh, poor backgrounds and uh, they uh, were able to achieve great things and live a wonderful life. And for me that uh, it's a powerful remind reminder, especially when uh, things go wrong and things don't go with the way I want them to, to go, because it reminds me that uh, if they were able to, uh, to achieve their goals, I can do also. Number five, don't fear rejection. Uh, a lot of people are not living the life they, that they want because they are fearing rejections. They are fearing the no. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, I took a sales job was uh, the fact that I wanted to get past this fear. Uh, because in a sales job, you are going to get uh, and you are going to hear uh, a lot more no's that in a day that you are going to hear uh, yeses in the whole month. In sales, I learned that um, it's a good thing to get a no because uh, the more no you are going to get, the closer you are going to be to getting the yes. Uh, in a way, you are going to need to kiss a lot of frogs before you get the prince. Number six, have a why. Uh, if you want to go on a trip, you are going to need to know where you are going and why you are going into that specific direction. This is the same thing with having a why in life because you're going to need to, to know why you are going to take a specific action and you are not going to take the opposite action. Having a why is going to help you go through the hard times because when everything in your body says stop, your why is going to keep you going forward. Evan explains that the way to find your why is to search in your mind the time that you felt the biggest pain. For him, it was the moment that he had the biotech company and he wanted to quit the business because it was too hard. Now, he helps as many entrepreneurs as possible to not go through that pain as he has done. Uh, and that is his why. Number seven, keep learning. A lot of people after they finish school or college, they stop learning. On the other hand, successful people, they don't stop learning. Warren Buffett, one of the richest person in the world, uh, reads around, I think, three hours every day. Bill Gates 
goes on reading retreats. Of course, uh, reading is not the only solution. You can get uh, online courses, you can uh, get a mentor, you can uh, listen to podcasts, you can watch videos. The main idea is that you keep on learning, you keep on uh, learning new things, you keep on uh, um, being ahead with technology, you keep on moving. Number eight, take action. Below Evan's pictures, uh, picture right over here, I have this quote from him. Take consistent action every day until you reach your uh, goals and believe that you can do it. A big part of Evan's work and Evan's advice is uh, around the fact that you need to take action on your ideas as soon as possible to be able to uh, take the first step. By taking action as soon as possible, uh, basically you are getting the ball rolling. You are uh, using the momentum and the enthusiasm that you have in the moment in order for you to be able to take the first step. Everyone has ideas. Everyone has a product that they think that they are going to uh, is going to change the world. The difference is that successful people take action on their ideas. They start working on their ideas as soon as possible. Number nine, take risks. Every person on my wall at one time in their life needed to take a big risk on their business or on themselves. Taking a risk has uh, a strong correlation with believing in yourself, believing that you can do it, believing that uh, your idea is a good idea and uh, that is going to help you uh, be more inclined to take a bigger risk. Of course, taking a risk uh, can be hard, can be painful. But uh, also not asking that girl out, not uh, starting a business, not uh, getting out of a job that you don't like can be painful in the long term also. Number 10. Do the hard things. Everybody is running from the hard things. It doesn't matter if it's a toxic relationship or um, uh, speaking in public. Everybody is going to try to uh, run from a hard thing. By doing the hard things, you evolve. This is the same thing what is happening if you are going to, into a gym. In order for you to get bigger muscle, you are going to need to lift heavier and heavier weights. In part, is because our brain has the role to keep us alive. That was a very good thing maybe, I don't know, 1000 years ago, but now uh, that uh, mechanism also is keeping us small, it's keeping us from reaching our full potential. So stop uh, fearing the hard things and go and chase them. And that's all guys, we reached the end of this video about the 10 things that I learned from Evan Carmichael. In the description box you're going to find uh, Evan's uh, social media accounts. If you like the video, please like the video if you enjoy the content uh, please subscribe to the channel and comment below and tell me what is uh, the one hard thing that you need to do in order for you to get to the next level and until next time you're amazing